What's up, everybody? Um, damn, today's episode was ludicrous. Um, let me just get into this Johnny situation first, cause I'm sick of the storyline. Um, Johnny Zakara could go to prison for all I care. Like seriously, because Johnny Zakara, he's boring. He he does nothing for me on this show. So I'm like, Johnny Zakara can go for all I care. Now. I'm sick of him trying to frame Luke and Tracy for Anthony's murder and stuff like that. It's annoying. Like, okay, it's one thing to try to frame Sonny, but to frame Luke and Tracy, they did nothing to Johnny. Anyway, Johnny can go. Um, it was good seeing Carly and Jason scenes today. I mean, I haven't really been seeing much of their scenes together. And I hope she knocks some sense into his ass. He needs his wife. Um, and as far as Carly is concerned, I don't want to see her with Johnny or Sonny or I just don't. They need to bring somebody in new for her, like Todd or Sean Butler. I'd rather see her with one of them. She done been with half the men in poor Charles. Be with somebody else. She deserves some happiness in a real grown-up relationship, and I hope she gets it. Um, the goons that Jason sent. Those two big bulls beat the hell out of McVeigh. Um, it was it was crazy, but Jason I think is putting himself in a harm's way because he left a voicemail on one of their phones. Where I'm like, I'm sure McVeigh knows that him or Sonny sent them guys. I think it was dumb, and he shouldn't have did that. But I understand his frustration with McVeigh. But I'm hoping that Jason, cause you know fix this with CM and I hope that he can be a family with her now for the main event baby Morgan slash McCall and baby Delgado slash Lord have been born what I don't want to see is another fucking baby switch RC be original don't do this sick of seeing baby switches they did it on all my children and one life to live i'm tired of seeing baby switches can we have these two babies be born normally for a change and and be healthy and for taya to raise her baby bring them back to landview so daniela can meet them and star can meet their you know their sibling or cousin whatever um Oh, yeah, this baby is Daniela's cousin slash little brother. Forgot about that. Um, rumor has it is that Taya and Todd are getting ready to find out that Victor is alive. That's the rumor mill. I'm not sure how true that is, but our lives are going to be changed profoundly. Um, I'm just tired of the baby switches, man. I'm just yeah, it's real sick and tired of it. I want Taya to have a healthy baby boy. I don't want Taya's son to go to Sam and Sam's son to go to Jason. And then two years later, they find out about the switch. Like they did with Jessica's baby and Star Baby. When Chloe really died and Hope, well, when Hope supposedly died, but Chloe is the real one that died. I don't want to see that because our, yo, I swear, they dragged that storyline on so long. It pissed me off. I don't want to see the same thing this time around. I want to see two healthy babies. I want to see Taya be happy. I'm glad Todd stepped up um, and saved the day. And furthermore, Heather Weber, please leave the show. You're no longer needed on the show. I'm tired of her running around calls and crazy. She's like the Allison Perkins of General Hospital. Like, seriously, she's as nutty as Allison Perkins. Because she's doing, I think this is exactly what R.C. wants to do. He's he's making Heather into Allison Perkins, in a way. Changing babies and switching results. And I'm um, sick of seeing it. It's old. Anyway, today was a great episode. I hope everybody have a great weekend. I'm going to keep it short today. Because I can't wait for Monday. Cliffhanger Friday was always a good good day. So I hope Taya I wish Taya the best and I hope that um the baby her baby is healthy and I hope CM's baby is healthy. 
And let me just say this again. McBain got the shit kicked out of him. Thank God. 